are we doing today? I just thought I would do a video about my paranormal experiences because I've done one recently which you should have seen by now or it should be up on my channel now. So I'm just going to do a video that is going to be about my paranormal experiences. So enjoy. Okay, so my paranormal experiences, I'm going to start with when I was 10 years old. You're probably thinking, how can I remember so far back when I was 10, blah, 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 blah. Let me tell you, at my, with my mum, I live with my dad now, I was living with my mum. I'd recently come back from holiday. I went to Spain with my mum and my paternal grandmother. Uh, we come back from holiday and I was at home, I was in my bed. When I was younger growing up, I had a problem sleeping in the dark and in, the, in silence. So even now, I'm 23 now, I still can't sleep in the dark and I can't sleep with no sound on. So it was around Easter time. So this was like uh, March, April, it was one of those months and I was laying in bed. I went to go turn the radio down and as I looked on the floor, I saw something yellow and glowing and it was just on the floor. And I remember like feeling, I remember quickly like going like this. I barely even got a chance to look at it. I just saw it was yellow and glowing. And then I just like, I just moved back over here like this and I'm just like, and then I remember sweating throughout the entire night. I wanted to itch my face. I wanted to itch my arm. Everywhere that I had an itch, I didn't itch it because I was so fucking scared. I was so scared. Um, so I just left that. Um, I don't know. I mean, that happened and then nothing happened for a while. I had something happen to me actually. No, going even further back, I think I was in year... So we're talking primary school here. I was I went to Manford Primary School, for anyone wondering, um, which is in, in Chigwell. Well, technically it's in Hainault, but anyway, let's move on. Um, so I went to Manford Primary School. I think I was in year, year four or year five. And I was on like a, like a boat. It was like a wooden boat. And it was at the infant's end of the playground. It was on like a rubber thing. And then they built like a wooden boat and you could actually go on it and sit on it. So I was sitting on it like this and you had the window over here and uh, I was just sitting there for a while everybody else was inside I was just sitting on the window I was sitting like this and the window was here and I, I happened to look over here and then I saw you, you at this point I'm just gonna say you don't have to believe me like you don't you don't have to believe me but I saw a boy uh, basically screaming he was directly behind me uh, so basically where the boat was like there was like a little um there was seats here and there was a bit where you could come out and then you could you could stand like in this little bit here so the, 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 the boy was in this little bit here that you could stand on before like getting off. Uh, and basically he was here and he was going, ah! like this, right? And you probably think like, Jasmine, really? Yes, th this actually happened. This I wasn't dreaming, I was awake when this, I don't know if it was a hallucination. I don't know if I was just, I, I don't know if I was just really tired that day. I don't know. I think maybe it's because people told me the school was haunted, so I let that get into my head. And you should still go there. Manfred Primary School is a great school. They have great breakfast clubs, after school clubs. Like, this, Manford is good, Manford is good. My primary school was good. So uh, basically it was a man hit and his face was red. He was all red and he was banging like this and screaming. And like, I remember being so paralyzed by fear. I didn't move, I didn't react, I didn't scream. I just observed it because I was so scared. And it's like I was calm and scared at the same time. And very strange. So yeah, that was just, that was the experience when I was a bit younger. Okay, so I was about 13 or 14. And I would have been in year nine, I think. And yeah, okay, so I was either in year eight or year nine. And I had I have a bunk bed, or I had a bunk bed um, at my mum's place <laughs> growing up, even though I'm an only child. And this bunk bed, I was on the top bunk. I was uh, facing this way. I know it's better to sleep on your left for you know because of your stomach and everything. I get that, but your liver. But I slept on my right. And then um, it's funny because actually, not long before this happened, I had a friend come over that did the same thing. A friend came over. I'll tell you what I mean by did the same thing. A friend came over, she slept on the bottom bunk and she started like uh, scraping and like and like making scratching sounds on the bottom of my bunk bed. And then about a week or two after she left mine, uh, that, that's when I was sleeping that night, turned over to my right and I heard the same scratching and the same everything. And I think I looked once and there was no one there. And then after that, I went back to sleep again. And I heard that for like half an hour. And it sounded like my floorboards were creaking. So it was like somebody was on my floorboards. Oh, Jesus, this is so fucking, this is so creepy to talk about. Uh, so it's like somebody was like on the floorboards moving around and I heard the tapping and the, the scraping against the metal of my bunk bed. It sounded like somebody with long nails was scraping across the bunk bed. I've just remembered something else. When I was about seven or eight, because it was not long after my parents divorced, my dad got a really nice house in Chapel Heath. I remember being in this bathroom um, of this very nice place that my dad used to live in, and I put my hand 
uh, on the sink and I daydream a lot. So I was just, I spaced out. And then next thing you know, I see a, I see a dark, long black hand with long nails, okay? And it touches my hand. I'm, I mean, I immediately moved my hand like that. And then I jolted out of the daydream and I looked around me and there was nothing there. And it, it just creeped me out so much. The next one I want to talk about, this will be the last one. So I was at my mum's. Uh, I'm not going to say when, uh, but I was at my mum's. I mean, I can say my age. I was 20 at the time. So this was like two, this was three years ago. Um, even though I'm going to be 24 this year. But yeah, that was when I was 20 going on 21. Moving on. So this was, uh, I'd say it was about April, May, maybe that sort of time. I think it might have even been June. And I was sleeping on the bed. I remember, I'm not going to say too much, but I'm just going to say the house was empty at the time. I heard, basically, I, I fell asleep in a similar way. Um, I had a dream that was very similar to how I, was, how, I, how, I, how I was awake before I went to sleep. Let me describe this to you. I was listening to music. I put my phone down the side of the bed, not on the floor, down the side of the bed. And when I put my phone down the side of the bed, I went to sleep. And then in my dream, I had a dream I was listening to the song that I was listening to just before I fell asleep. And that I had the phone in my hand and that I had something else that was uh, next to me. And then all of a sudden, I see the light turn on in the hall, in the upstairs hallway. And I hear somebody coming up the stairs. And then, I, and then obviously I slept with my door locked at the time. Uh, and then I heard somebody basically try to open my door and they couldn't get in. And then I heard them basically go back downstairs, turn the hallway light off and, and then leave through the back door. And bear in mind, I was all dreaming when this happened. But it's the fact that I had this dream on the bottom bunk. I fell asleep on the bottom bunk. I, I think a few other things I was worried about obviously happened in the dream. And it's just like, it's just the fact that that happened. And it's like I fell into a state of sleep paralysis almost. But it wasn't. It was like I woke up, something weird happened, couldn't move. And then I went straight into this dream or nightmare, I guess you could say. But that was very, very strange just the way that it happened. It seemed so real. And I had other weird dreams. Like I had very strange dreams like where that place was haunted and... My best friend and even other people that have stayed over at my mum's say that they've seen things. So those are just a few of my paranormal experiences. I just wanted to share this with you guys. Um, I know that other people out there have similar experiences. You know, Tana Mojo, uh, loads of other people, Harmony Nice. Uh, I know there are other YouTubers much bigger than me that then have that have a lot of um, paranormal experiences. So I wanted to share mine just so that people know you're not crazy, you're not going crazy, you're not losing your shit. It happens to other people as well. It, it can be considered a gift. You can look at it as a gift. I mean, I don't really see it as a gift. It, it's For me, it's kind of a hindrance and inconvenience, but you can see it as a gift. So that's all, guys. Um, thank you very much. I didn't even do my intro. Let me do my intro now. Hey, guys and girls, and my outro. Love, peace. Make sure you go follow me on TikTok, ring the notification bell, subscribe if you haven't already, and... Mwah.